go ahead and go over the, the next step for you guys. And so the next step is, now we're gonna introduce a conflict to our characters. So we're gonna put a conflict in front of Maria. We're gonna put a conflict in front of your character that you've, you've adopted. And uh, we're really gonna try to, to flush that out. So what I want you to do is take a look at assignments on Teams if you can. We'll go over this together really quick. And I'll, and I'll give you guys a couple minutes to actually start. So an assignment released to you guys this morning called Create Conflict. And I want you guys to remember that there's gonna be, that this conflict has to be a part of every, it has to have a presence in every part of your story. So we're gonna introduce it in the exposition. During the rising action, we're, we're gonna see our character grow closer and closer to it at the climax, okay? The apex of the action is when they kind of go head on with the conflict and then they're gonna be resolving it through the falling action and then obviously into the resolution. So the conflict you pick for your primary conflict it really has to have a presence in every part of the story, okay? So keep that in mind as you go through. All right, so if you open up the, uh, the assignment here, it's gonna say uh, the instructions here are there is friction to writing fiction, okay? And that just simply means that conflict needs to be a part of every uh, has to have a presence in every part of your story. Every strong story needs a compelling conflict to challenge the protagonist and push the plot along. Create a primary conflict for your adopted guess who character. What challenge stands in their way? Think about the four types of conflict we've discussed and choose one to explore in this worksheet. So as you guys are going, you're gonna, you're gonna pick what or who opposes your character, okay? And so for Bo, I think you have a mercenary in World War II your conflict could either be the war itself, right? Which could be defined as man versus society or man versus man. Or your character could have sort of an internal battle that's playing out on this, on this bigger stage, okay? Which would be man versus uh, self, okay? So I want you to identify who or what is opposing your character. Uh, why are they at odds? Who or what else is involved, okay? Uh, how does the character react internally? How does the character react external to the conflict, okay? Is the character motivated to resolve the conflict? And that may be, uh, again, initially it might be no, but as they, they grow and they progress, it could, it could turn into yes. How and when should the conflict be resolved? How does the story develop through this conflict? And finally, how does the character develop through the conflict? So how does the, st how does the story develop and then how does the character develop? And really for me guys, number nine, uh, number nine is the most important. If you guys are doing this well, okay, your character is going to evolve and grow and transform. And we talked about that, right? Uh, they cannot be the same person they were at the beginning of your story. And think of every good movie that you've watched or maybe every good book that you've read. Your character changes as the, as the, uh, the story goes on. And that's because the conflict is such that it forces them to change and grow and evolve, okay? So be thinking of that uh, as you get to number nine. And as you fill out this worksheet, I want you guys to practice good technique and good uh, literacy behavior. You know what I mean? Like complete sentences, punctuation, try to get your spelling down. But really, I'm focused on the content, okay? Do you guys understand the conflict? I'm not grading you super strict on, on, the, on the, the writing of it, just the conflict, okay? Or the content. Any questions about this next step? Haven't? You're in the zone already? Yeah. Okay, so let's do this. You guys have about five minutes. We're gonna work to Bell. Uh, go ahead and take a look at your Create Conflict Worksheet and see if you can't get one or two at least done before the Bell, just to give yourself a head start. This is gonna be due on Friday, um, Friday of this week. So uh, see if you can identify the conflict, understand why the conflict exists, um, and see if you can make progress. Let's try to get two done as a goal, okay?